And your Thursday morning skinny is going to start with country music's biggest night of the year. Last night's star studded 50th CMA Awards hosted by Carrie Underwood and Brad Paisley brought together country music's legends with the hottest new names and celebrities of all backgrounds out in the audience, including former NFL quarterback Peyton Manning. Are you here to sell insurance? No, I'm here for one of my favorite singers. Oh. Thank you so much, is it me? No, it's not, it's Kenny Chesney. <laughs> That was a cute moment. That was absolutely Very brilliant. Cute. He is so brave to see. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Brad needs to sing more often. Um, <laughs> but despite some backlash from some country music fans, the person who really stole the show last night was Beyonce, who really, she slayed, as she would say. The Texas native performed Daddy Lessons off her album Lemonade, joined on stage by the Dixie Chicks. Daddy said. This was, it was a six minute performance. It was fantastic. It was great. It brought in some fans of uh, country music who didn't want to watch country music awards because, but they watched because of Beyonce. That's good. It's got to be good for country yeah, music, huh? Exactly. It was a nice blend of everything. Um, so the night's climax, though, was Dolly Parton winning the Willie Nelson Lifetime Achievement Award after an all star tribute featuring some of country's most beloved women singing Parton's biggest hits. Parton said she tried her best not to cry, saying she didn't want to mess up her eyelashes. Well, <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> um, as for last night's top winners, they did give out some awards. Carrie Underwood took home an award for Female Vocalist of the Year. Chris Stapleton won Male Vocalist of the Year and Country Music's top prize, the coveted Entertainer of the Year. Well, that went to Garth Brooks. Yes, I love how your accent comes out. Your Chicago af accent comes out. No, I'm trying to do it. I'm trying to do a country accent. Is that what it is? Southern, I don't know. No, it's good. <laughs> all right, and as is the case with all award shows, also taking center stage last night, red carpet fashion. Yes, Carrie Underwood made a convincing argument for a live action Sleeping Beauty remake, you might say, <laughs> channeling a little Princess Aurora in her uh, pink dress. Miranda Lambert stunned in a low cut black and sheer gown. Uh, that's uh, by Mokika Chang. Oh, oh of no, course. Those are the heels. Of course. <laughs> I really should have heard the of Mo those. Mokika <laughs> Chang heels, yes. Oh, oh, yeah. No, these are Nelcoisms, so. I'm sure they're next <laughs> to the Louboutins. Uh -huh. Nicole Kidman, stuck with old Hollywood glamour in a pleated pink dress, high collar, bejeweled ruffles, and husband Keith Urban as her main accessory. She wow, is that was cruel. Old Hollywood glamour. Yep. He's a great accessory. Yes. <laughs> Tim McGraw and Faith Hill kept it simple in black and white and sparkly silver. And Garth Brooks stuck with an open collar as wife Faith Hill dazzled in white and midnight blue. They looked beautiful, all of them. Yeah. Impressive.